One of the uh, core tenets of content marketing is to have an audience first approach to really understand and come at it from the customer's point of view uh, so that we can address those pain points. Uh, but that's difficult in the manufacturing space because there are so many, the process is so long and there's so many different people who are involved in the process. There can be not only internal people, but there can be sales reps and independent reps. And you know, we, all of those different audiences have to be considered, including the ultimate end users. So, um, so that's, a, that makes the process more complex. And I'm sure, Patrick, you might have some thoughts and insight about that. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think the data shows uh, in this category manufacturing uh, that we have the hardest uh, uh, time understanding the audience. Uh, manufacturers, um, I think we've seen that, you know, anecdotally as well, uh, it's manufacturing audiences are really hard to understand. Um, a lot of manufacturers go through distributors so that uh, having that uh, lack of one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, can make that much more difficult. Uh, that said, there are a lot of ways that we can do it. Um, it's not impossible. Uh, we can, you know, start with the old tried and true, you know, just talking to people, you know, having that one on one interview or, you know, uh, panels, anything like that, really getting to know uh, the consumer. That's going to be your best way. Um, but the other side of it is sometimes that's not always an option. So then you have things like uh, social listening where you can, you know, really go out there and find what people are saying, how they feel about certain things, th themes in the category and uh, track that down. Uh, but then there's also the option of AI where we can, you know, instead of creating content with AI, we can, you know, use it to just understand audiences and, you know, get the sources, go in and find, you know, the right insights that are going to help us win. Yeah. And thinking about audiences, it goes back to those committees, right? You've got growing buying groups made up of unique individuals, but they work together as a group. And each of those individuals is on their, their own moment in their journey. And so we've got to find ways to resonate with them in those moments, but hang together in the whole story. And um, in terms of ways to, you know, really understand that, you've got to think, sort of have to break the paradigm of classic B2B of top of funnel through bottom of funnel, you know, because um, it really transcends the entire funnel when you sandwich all those people together in one committee. Have you experienced that before? Yeah, and I, I want to kind of bust a myth here that content marketing can only play up top. And I think there's something to yeah. that. You know, you can use something like a social post to build brand awareness, keep it short, keep it sweet, get the brand out there, yay. But I think there's an opportunity to even go deeper at that top of the funnel with something that we call social storytelling, where we're we're leaning in a little more and we're pulling in the color and we're 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 telling a story so that people, even as they scroll through Instagram, will stop and read it and think, okay, I've I've registered that mm -hmm. brand now. And then as the journey continues, you can bring in other kinds of content. It might be a how-to article on the blog. Then as it gets closer to maybe sealing the deal, you want to go in with more of a, you know, a informative journalism driven white paper and then you get the customer but you still got to have some content there so um, maybe then you pull in with a podcast where you've got multiple points of content and that that cadence keeps going because you need that consistent sort of drumbeat of content i think the thing that i've seen the most is that um what puts content marketing apart is that you're really putting the audience first it's and then the brand kind of folds organically into that and you bring up a really good point on like getting to the sale in many ways that's almost the beginning of the journey right, right like we've got right. to get to that and then loyalty advocacy that comes afterwards absolutely you, you can't stop there so you need to continue fueling those flames to your point in ways that are relevant to the customer and their end users yep not about the brand it's got yep. to be really really natural and, and sort of organic so that the brand's payoff is secondary to what the customer needs now in this period or over this moment in time. Yep. Yeah, absolutely.